Hey guys, it's me Mia and welcome back to my channel called Mia's Sketchbook. So in today's video, I'm going to be testing out this new watercolor set. It's called Artsy Watercolor and I got it from Amazon and paid $18.99 for it. So this is the latest in the portable fan watercolor sets. If you don't know what I'm talking about, here's an example right here. This is a portable watercolor set and the palettes just fan out. So this is an old design and this is the latest design. So in the description section on the Amazon page, it says that these watercolors were made in Italy. But when you look on the back, it says that it's made in China. So I thought that was interesting. But anyway, let's take this out. So this is the case it comes in. And here are the watercolors. And here is the card. I tried to Google this artsy company, but I couldn't find any information on them. But here's their card. They have an email address. And on the back of the card is a swatch card. And... If you look here, let me pull out one of these fans. If you guys can see, there's swatches of the colors on each fan or whatever you want to call it. But as you know, I'm going to swatch out these colors for myself because usually the colors and the swatches that they provide on this card and on here don't really match up with the actual paint color. So we'll do that in a little bit. So this set came with three watercolor brushes. So this one is tucked away in here. Let's pull it out. There we go. And this is a round watercolor brush and it has the water chamber. All three of them are like that, by the way. And then here's another round. And then here is the flat watercolor brush. So now let's open this up. So here's the palette right here and here's the sponge. And I'm going to remove the sponge. Okay. So there's Velcro here to hold the sponge in place. Let me put this back in. And now I'll close this back up. Okay, now I'll fan out all of the watercolors. So there's, we have 56 colors. 10 of the colors are pastels, and 10 other colors are metallics, which are right here. So let me zoom out a little bit so you guys can get a better look. There you go, right here. All right. Okay, you guys, so I am going to swatch out all 56 colors onto Strathmore watercolor paper. And we'll see what these colors truly look like.
so I am back. I am finished swatching all of these colors, all 56 of them. And here you go. I really like these colors. They're very pigmented and they are not chalky. And that's one thing I hate are chalky watercolors. But this looks great. Very pigmented. I don't know about the light fastness. I tried looking up information on this company and I couldn't find anything. So who knows? But here are the metallics right here. Look at that. Look at that gold. Yeah, that gold looks great. This one right there. I love the oranges, the browns. I love the blues. And I love this purple. So, right here you see the metallics are on white paper. And I decided to swatch out the metallics on this black paper. It's Stonehenge Aqua Cold Press Black. And this is still a little bit wet. That's okay. Let me zoom in so you guys can see. Well, this is great. Look at that gold. I really love the gold. I love the purple. And let's see. All right, these are some Paul Rubin metallics that I swatched out, as well as Hobby Lobby. Mm, I would say these are about the same quality as those two. But yeah, and you're probably wondering, well, do these colors have names? Well, no, they do not. They're just assigned numbers. As you can see right here, they just have they just have numbers. Hold on, there you go. Yeah. Now this is a pretty decent watercolor set. I'm looking forward to, you know, traveling again and taking this with me so we shall see what 2021 brings so now it's time to paint something